but... Hey, what's up you guys, Sean Miss Prime here doing another Transformers review on the Transformers Classics Mixmaster, aka TFC Mad Blender. This is the last figure of the six from TFC to build Hercules, aka Devastator. And this guy is bad ass, dude. Just really, really cool. Now, uh, I have all of all of his accessories attached to him here, and he just comes with a ton. Now, these cylinder pieces right here are part of his uh, cement barrel, which is really, really cool. And this gun is, you know, this huge gun comes in the middle of that, which is pretty damn sweet too. And he comes with a gun like the rest. And then there's a red version of the gun right here. And actually, the gun comes as one piece connected like this. Well, it's two pieces, but they're supposed to connect like this. But, I don't know, I always kind of feel it's a little weird. And it's kind of awkward having him hold it like that. Because you either have him hold it like, say, he's, you know, has his hand like that. It's either off to the side like this. You can't have him straight up holding it like how you kind of wish he would. So, I take it apart like that. And that's why he's holding the purple one right here. Now, I'm not a big fan of these red pieces. So, I kind of try to hide them in the back of the figure. Not totally set them aside. But, you know, store them someplace in the back where they can't really be seen. Because, you know, I don't really like them that much. But this figure is cool. He may be the sickest one for robot mode anyway. Definitely the, uh, one of the best robot mode ones. I mean, he's just got all these weapons right here. I'm going to take this off uh, and show you that this actually splits up into even more pieces. So you can, yeah, so you can have eight like that, which is really cool. And, you know, again, with these figures, the fun factor um, is just unbelievable. You can, you can put these anywhere. There's supports on his arms right there. Uh, you could attach them to the sides over here. Some of them don't have, you know, this has an empty peg, so you can add it to this somehow if you wanted to. So you can have it up there like that. You can do all, or you can have them on the side over here on that purple piece. You can do that. Oh, there you go. You can see it like that too. Actually, that looks pretty sweet. Well, that didn't really work out because there's not enough clearance to get that going. But anyway, you can be creative with it and do all kinds of stuff. You know, you can even add it to his chest if you want to like that because that's kind of well, stupid. But anyway, yeah, so that, that just really makes the figure a lot of fun. So I'm going to take all of these pieces off right here just because I will be needing to build the cement barrel. And actually, I could just do that right now. So take this piece off. This is going to be part of the chest of Devastator. And you can get these. To get, and then this is his gun. Now what's really cool is that his gun is huge. You know, he has this huge gun, which is pretty neat because the G1 Devastator does come with, you know, the gigantic cannon of Devastator. So I think that's pretty cool. And here's, I guess, a little size comparison for you before I keep moving on. So G1 Mixmaster right here, and then here's uh, Transformers Classics Jazz, or uh, reveal, uh, reveal the Shield Jazz, so, you know, they do look good together right there, that's why I keep calling them Classics figures, so, um, just very, very nice, and overall, just the detail throughout is pretty damn cool, I like his head sculpt a lot, it's pretty, and he does have um, this piece right here that kind of block some of the light piping but here let's see if I hold it up in the window want want yeah see it doesn't really come through so well that piece behind his head is blocking yeah, you can kind of see it like that but oh well overall though I mean this is a cool head sculpt I really do like it I like his visor I like that <laughs> that triangle on his head very cool so I like the little lights over here, which I'll probably show off more. Oh, another thing is in his transformation, they actually tell you to fold these wheels back like this. But they kind of get in the way when you're posing them around and stuff. And it doesn't really bother me that much that he has wheels coming out of his sides like that. So I prefer to have it like that. It just looks, I don't know, looks a little cleaner to me that way. So, yeah, got some nice silver paint right here. It's not too bad. He's added fake screws on his upper thigh over here. Just a cool looking figure. Just pretty nice. You know, these parts with the the wheels, you can move them around any way you want at the same time, you know. But his head does move side to side. And it kind of moves up and down. It's, it's kind of strange how that 
could move back and up and down due to the transformation. So you look down a little bit, it's kind of neat. He has shoulder articulation as well that moves up and out like that. A bicep swivel, damn good elbow joint right there. And his wrist moves down but not side to side or anything, which is kind of a bummer. He has an awesome waist joint. His legs move out, they move forward, thigh swivel. Uh, Double jointed knee due to the transformation. It's kind of funky. I like to have these kneecaps out instead of up like that. I don't know why. And then his foot is just kind of there. That's like the weakest part is that there's no real foot articulation. But oh well. Other than that, he is awesome. So going back to the cement truck. Here, let's move Mixmaster aside right here and put these pieces together. These, these designs are actually are really cool. I just want to touch on this a little bit. It's pretty neat. It's pretty well done design on the inside of these things so I just thought that that was really worth noting they do look like cannons so you got variations of cannons depending on the way it connects so you have well it looks like you only have this one and this one right there and then there's that so anyway let's get to building this thing so you want to make half of it uh, you gotta make sure it matches correctly there you go there's one half then do the other half and then put this, oh, you got to remove this little, see this little piece right here is part of his actual gun, which is not really the best of the guns. You know, he, he makes, this one makes the handle of the Devastator cannon, so it's not a big deal. But, yeah, that's that. Um, get this going right here, and then get, and you just sandwich it together, basically. I hope I have the right side. I don't know if, if I don't, then I'll have to read. Actually, I know I don't already. So you want this piece coming out the other end. Shit. So yeah, I was wrong about that. Yeah, you want to keep this side right here on the part that slopes more in the thicker end. This piece right here that connects into his back. So that is the barrel right there. And then put these pieces aside. Now we can move on to his transformation. No, remove the gun pieces over here. Uh, I'm going to fold out this back, let that come out, well, and then fold his toes in, and then, oh, this has got to come up like this, this little parts right there, so you can see that's going to build the end of the truck, tuck his head down, bam, there it goes, and then you got to move his arms up, kind of forgot how to do this already, shit, but you want to put his hands in course so I want to make sure those are tucked in I should have practiced before I did this damn it oh well. it's easier to actually have these wheels pulled back over here when, when you're getting them into this mode Ooh, look at my hand and to turn these up right here remember with these things this is going to be the bottom of the truck so you want the screws facing downward and these have to be rotated so turn them in like that and then fold down and then turn up like this see I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Uh, turn it around, and turn this around, and turn this around, and then fold, oh, that came off. Uh, put it back together, then fold it in. So it looks like that. This is really not the best explanation, I must apologize, but I don't want to spend an hour and a half talking about this. And then kind of leave some room for these like that so that when you pull this flap it can connect to the arm pieces so this flap comes down there and then you can connect the wheel portions into these two pegs that stick out right there and there and then that connects nicely like that look at that huh so for his legs you want to pop the kneecaps in like how i already did right there turn his thighs like this turn his waist and then you turn his calf area which I forgot to show but he does have that swivel right down here for the you know and then you just fold this up like here and then push it down and it collapses in and you do the same thing to the other side and that will make and that will make the cab of the truck so you can see it's pretty much formed right there and then we can put this up here and we shall, this, he has a bunch of holes right here, but you want to plug this into that one. 
And then there's a slot in the back, and you just shove it in right there, shove it in the slot. Yeah, I like shoving it into the slots. Alright, and there you go. You've got your classics mix master. Which typically he rolls very well, but for some reason right now his front wheels aren't really rolling. Well, they kind of are. Yeah, there they go. It's pretty cool, huh? I like it. I like this mode. It's pretty sweet. I don't know. It's alright. I like how the uh, I like how the barrel spins. This is very cool. You have to like really push it together though. Keep it tight like a tiger. And then you can add this piece right here to the very back if you wish. So that kind of looks cool. So there's that. And that is pretty much it, man. He's cool. And you can store his weapons on his sides right here if you want or whatever. So just put this right here. Like I said, it's Jerry. Nightmare likes to call it the fun factor. But with these guys, the fun factor is astronomical. I, I really, really dig these. It looks very, very boxed out, you know, like very boxy right here in the front, but it kind of needs to be. It does have his ankle articulation right there like that, but, you know, that's due to his third mode. And I really like how the barrel spins right here. That is cool that it actually functions, so, so that's pretty fucking awesome. I'll give you a comparison to the uh, Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class Mixmaster right here. It's pretty cool. You can see how big he is in comparison. So they're about the same size. Very nice. So these actually kind of turn out to be more like Voyager class figures, but it's not too bad. I like it. I like all the lights that they have here. Lights in the back. There's his butthole. So it's not too bad. Here he is compared to the G1 version. So see, this isn't as boxed out. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's been boxed. Look at he's been boxed. <laughs> okay, that's not very funny, but yeah. So there's that. Now let's turn him into his third mode, which is pretty damn cool. His butthole's already ready to go to be connected. You gotta disassemble this a little bit right here. He does have these two tabs over here. You can see those two little notches right there that plug into right here. So you can get it to connect. But the thing is, I think I have this wrong over here, so I may have done that incorrectly. And actually, yes, I did. So this is on backwards. All you gotta do is just spin it around. Or you have to remove it and then spin it around, but I didn't have to take it all apart. So yeah, so now there's clearance for it to connect into those slots. And I mean, you saw what I did here. I just unfolded folded it halfway. This is not my best work, you guys. Just try. Just want to do a review of the complete devastator. Just want to do a review of the complete devastator, and then there you go. So now there is his foot, and there's these his knee pad things come out in the back, so he has a little bit more leverage or you know stability right there, and he has his ankle pivot, which is freaking awesome. So yeah, that's it. That's the leg of Devastator, the left leg of Devastator, and yeah, that's my review, you guys. Okay, well, hope you dug it. I'll catch you later. Peace. Well, that's Sharpness. He is so awesome. But now what should I do on the internet? You gotta pick it me out on that! No, show you, man! Big kids, big news, number one source for geek news, reviews, toys, comics, movies, cartoons, video games, and more! Next time you gotta watch my videos, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going?